What is up everybody, it's King Kunta, and today we have another gold farming video for you. And as you can probably see here, uh, we're not actually in the trade district, district again. And I figured today I was going to try to go ahead and speed up the videos, just kind of show you the spots quicker, because I had some people complaining about that in a couple of past videos, and I feel like this might help. So I'm just basically going to stop talking now and just start explaining the farm, and hope this makes you happier. Also, check out the links in the description, and if you do like the video, don't forget to just leave me a like, or subscribe, or even comment if you have any questions down below completely up to you I just ask that if at the end you do to just check that out so to begin this farm I have to kind of explain it to you so today we're gonna to be farming rare spawns in Silithus, in Silithus sorry uh, for their pet drops now in order to do this you have to be on the new Silithus which isn't quite hard you all you have to do is go there just make sure you don't talk to this person and then ask them to travel through time and check out the new Silithus. So right now uh, there are three different mobs that spawn that will drop uh, the Silithus, the Silithus rare pet. So they are at three different locations and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you exactly where they are at on the map right now. Okay. It is on the screen, and as you can see, these are the three locations of the Silithus farm. There is one at Hive Ashi, Hive Zora, and Hive Regal. So, today, I'm just going to show you the one at Hive Ashi right now, because they do show up on your mini-map. So, I'm going to go ahead, and as you can see, I'm kind of just flying around right here, kind of looking for a uh, mob that looks just maybe a little bit different to the normal uh, scrap that we got running around down here. And as I keep running around, you can see on the uh, mini-map, he pops up, and also he spawns. Now, he, he is a level 110 elite, so be careful, uh, just be prepared to actually be able to fight this guy and beat him. And yeah, that's really it for this farm. Now, do remember that they are spread out all across all of Silithus, so you can go to either one. Now, in that me telling you that, you know, these are the farms and all that stuff, you can only farm each one of these rare spawns once per day. Now, there is a little bit of iffiness on whether or not it's a bug or not right now, but currently uh, you can only farm one per day. And if you're not actually strong enough to take down the uh, mob itself, you can always just do what I'm doing here and get a little bit cheeky and just kind of, you know, steal, uh, wait for someone else to start attacking it and then do it yourself. So as you can see here, just kind of going to kill this mob and we're just going to see if it's going to drop it for us real quick. Just to kind of give you guys some kind of, you know, reference. Obviously, it's easier with people. If you can't kill them, I recommend you just do this, as you can see me doing here. You can see this is an elite mob, so it's obviously going to take a few more people to kill, but shouldn't be too hard. And now we're going to loot it. Uh, just order resources and some artifact power, so we didn't get lucky today. But also, remember that we can go check out the uh, rare spawn at this location and this location as well. Now, I'm not going to really show you these spots because I feel like it'd just be too tedious and it'd be kind of irritating and you guys wouldn't really get the gist of it. Um, so yeah, if you guys do want to see the spots, let me know down below and maybe I'll just post another video and link it to this one uh, real quick, but I just don't think that anybody honestly would really care exactly where it's at because I'll, I'll put them on the map for you guys and uh, that's really it so right now I'm gonna cut the video and kind of explain why the farm is good and all that stuff so it's kind of like my normal video is just kind of flipped so this is the farm so if you want to go farm it you can go do it now and also I uh, if you stay tuned you'll learn about you know upcoming content to the channel um, what the item is used for best way to farm it kind of stuff like that so if you stay tuned you'll get all that good stuff and uh, if not well then I guess I'll see you in the next video this is King Kuta and uh, I guess I normally do this at the end, but yeah, we're just going to cut the video and we'll see you at the further explanation portion. Sorry, I'm new to this. All right, bye. What is up, everybody? It's King Kunta, and we're back after that uh, cut. And uh, let me know what you guys think about this new way of recording video or videos, if you like it or not. Uh, I saw some comments, you know, telling me to get to the point faster and telling me... I should die because I don't get to the point faster and blah blah and stuff like that. So I hope that this will kind of 
help speed the video along so not that many people will you know have anything to complain about but also the people that still want the information will still get it so really i'm just going to show you the prices on my auction house and explain why it can be useful to get this item and stuff like that so um we learned everything about the pet really uh at doing the farm but these are the current prices on my server and as you can see they're actually pretty or uh priced pretty high minus you know the one or two that people are trying to sell off pretty quick as you can see which really it makes more sense just to keep kind of listing like this because if you sell it off at this and just the prices get ruined uh i definitely recommend you guys check out your auction house prices before you farm this because some of you uh, that have auction house prices of like, you know, just 5,000 for buyout. Uh, I don't really recommend farming this because you, I mean, only 5,000 gold for this much of your effort. Um, I mean, it can pay off, it can not. It's really dependent. And, uh, it, it's all kind of quite dependent, I have to say. Um, the last person I knew that, uh, farmed this pet and sold it off, it took him a total of two weeks, I think, to sell the pet off. So, just... Before you farm it, uh, just know that it can take quite a little bit to uh, farm and sell this pet off, but because it is a battle pet, battle pet obviously, and uh, generally those are a little bit harder to sell, but when they do sell, you know, you get uh, way more than you were hoping for, really, um, as you can see, because these are quite good prices. Uh, that's really it. If you did like this video, uh, I'd like to ask you guys if you could like, comment, subscribe, and or, uh, you know, check out the links in the description below as well if you're interested in maybe starting a YouTube channel or something along those lines, something like that. And, uh, yeah, also buy Battle for Azeroth in the description below for the cheapest you can actually, uh, buy it. So, like, I, I definitely recommend you guys go buy it there if you're going to buy it. Don't get scammed by, like, some G2A guy or something like that. Anyways, well, we will see you all in the next wonderful gold farming video. And I love you all. Goodbye.